Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to another Ouya video. Today, let's look at... Alright, I think I made all those back there. Uh, let's look at Mystery Castle. See what this game's all about. Oh, nice little art style there. Loading. Uh, Fortress Underground. Let's see what this is about. If you are enjoying the game, please don't forget to visit the details to on page you to like. Okay. Into darkness. Or laddie, come over here. Use your left joystick to run up and down or right. Use the right joystick to look around. Now come here and press all button so we can talk face to face. I can stop shouting. Oh come on, dwarf never stop shouting. So, um, didn't you say I could look around with this button? Oh, I could look up and down with it. Can't really, okay. Blind me! I thought I was, <laughs> it was raining people for a moment. I'm Stumpy, uh, the dwarf from uh, Fortress Stonewell. There, it's a mighty fine hat you have there, laddie. I'm Morty, the wizard in training. Fancy hat owner. Why are you waiting over here? Oi, well, Monty. Nice to meet ya. It's, see, my kin and I used to live in this big fancy castle behind us, but we've been conquered by an evil monster. Many of my kingsmen have been enslaved. I, it was horrible. I barely managed to escape by the skin of my teeth. He was really passed out in the bathroom and no one paid attention. With a big fat treasure chest in tow. Look, fella. It, if I'd be captured like everyone else, I'd be no use to anyone. Now, I can offer a share of my treasure to experienced travelers and you to help me reclaim the fortress. I like that little sound effect. I think you were some sort of insult there, but I will help you reclaim your home for you and your people, Stumpy. Aye, great. We'll discuss the division of the treasure later. For now, know this. On each stage, there will be collect five gems. Uh, the exit door to open must be stepped through to leave the stage. So, if I just walk the gem, pick them up. Yeah, walk up to one and it'll appear in your inventory. If you need to speak with me again, okay. Now walk through the door and... Okay, so you're using analog stick, but I'm using the D-pad because it has more precise controls. So there we go. So this is probably a... Puzzle collection game. Alright, so I need to go back down here. Am I limited in the amount of steps I can take? Eh, Stumpy? Stumpy the Dwarf. Let's see, this is why he wasn't in the uh, uh, Snow White. He uh, ended up sleeping through the whole thing. I like the animation though, very smooth. Going down, down, down. All right, so I do have to get all five before the gate opens. Well done, stage complete. Okay. A minor problem. Whoa, there seems to be a lot of boxes in this room. Getting gems might be a bit thicker than I thought, tougher, tougher than I thought. Oh, laddie, we dwarves love boxes. Since we store them in the box, sometimes we use boxes to store boxes. Anyways, push the boxes out of your way to reach the gems. You could also push boxes into the dark abyss and build bridges. Can I push two boxes together? The boxes are pretty heavy and you're pretty fat. So no, you cannot. Hey, can I pull boxes? Uh, blind me. So many questions. No, you cannot pull boxes. You can only push one box at a time. Up, down, left, or right. Do I make myself clear, laddie? You're a fat bastard and you eat too many cheeseburgers. Alright. So. Oops.
So that's a mistake. Got a bit overzealous. And, um... Went with the easy trap. That I set for people like me who weren't paying attention. So here... I need to... Hmm... I don't need the box for anything else, so yeah, I could just do this. I wasn't sure if I need the box for anything else, so... If I could bend time... I would just spend an extra three hours each day getting extra sleep. All right, come on. There you go, Mr. Fancy Hat. Let's go talk to Stumpy again. Keys to the castle. Let me guess. We dwarves need to keep our treasures safe from uh, thieves and robbers. Take note of each uh, key has a shape that matches a symbol on the door. Collect the key and it will appear in your inventory and walk up above the door. Da -da -da -da. Use the star key starting in the moon to moon keys. Okay. So I can only use one for key. Gadzunk. So many questions. Yes, the keys are made with dwarven magic and would disappear unlocking the door once the magic symbol. So if these were to get a hold of one of our dwarven keys, they wouldn't be able to progress very far. All right, Stumpy. <laughs> Cute. All right. So... So, you open you. You open you. Yeah, so if I opened the way I did before, I would have actually ran out of the keys. Again, I need to use the D-pad instead of the analog stick because the analog stick has far better control than the uh, precise control than the analog stick. Okay, so I'm seeing a pattern here of the game. Oi, this be lava. As you can see, we're having some problems with our plumbing. Oops, that's lava. Well spotted, fella. It burns at a thousand degrees. Don't touch it. I know you want to stick your finger in and try it, but don't. Well, but how am I going to get to the moon key on the left? Simple. You don't. You're not a thief. So you don't be a slacker. Don't pick up every item. Just the useful ones. Get the other moon key instead. Think like a dwarf and pick up only the valuables. Got it. What happens if I push a box into the lava? Well, it's wooden. <laughs> Hot, fiery lava. You do the math or the chemistry. Anyways, that's all adds up to a box burning to a crisp lava still being there. And you'll have one less box. Professor, lava. Hot. Uh, comment below if you know where that's from. If you do, you are awesome. I have. I just love that clip. Professor, lava, hot. <laughs> Anyways, oh, I already messed up. Time to go kill yourself instead. Oh no. Yeah, burn to a crisp. Anyways, good thing my uh, twin was right behind me. Let's see. So, 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 so. I need a star. And I need a. Oh, I need all these keys. So if I push you there, I can get this one. By the way, I can get you also. I keep walking up to the doors thinking that's enough. I keep forgetting you need to hit uh, O to get up there also. Okay. go so I have one moon key that's all I need I guess all 
All right, let's do this. Easy peasy. By the way, Stumpy never asked what the hell I'm doing down here, did he? Hmm, interesting. So I could do these 12 levels, then I could do 15, 16, uh, gatehouse. What's up here, Stumpy? Yikes, what is that? Off, oh, that'd be a fire goblin, laddie. Don't panic. We're behind sturdy dwarven walls. He can't reach us. You can panic later when you're deeper inside the fortress, and he can reach us. Now, pay attention. Fire goblins are extremely stupid and will keep walking until they bump into something. If that something is hard, the fire goblin will turn to his right and continue walking. If that something is you, well, you're toast. You mean literal? I can't say that word, by the way. Literally. No, I mean actually. You will actually be toast. Toasted wizard. I'll make sure to avoid fire goblin so it's an evil monster has enslaved your people from... Oh, no, lad. When the creature attacks, the earth trembles and the wall cracks. Anything... You think we have lava in our fortress for what, laddie? Decorations? Alright, so where's that guy at? Oh, there he is. Okay. So later on, that's going to be an obstacle, isn't it? Alright, so... Really? Oh. Time to burn yourself. So apparently I can't push a crate over. Uh, no, that's okay. Actually, I think uh, that's a mess up too. Yep. All right, time to restart. Hold on. I should do it. Let me get this thing first. So I don't have to come back and talk to Stumpy again. He smells a little bit of alcohol and wee. So eventually we're going to have to fight that guy. But again, the trick is, whatever he hits something solid, he turns to his right and continues. So I think the thing is... Eventually, you need to push him into... What's this? All right, what is this now, Stumpy? The castle is really falling apart. Yes and no. We dwarves have awakened the... Weakened the floor to stop intruders. Dwarves are small and light and can walk over cracked floors. You, on the other hand, fatty. Hi. Hey, that's not very kind. Is it safe? Oh, it's safe-ish. The floor will not break any further while you're standing on it. The cracked floors will only break... Once you're off it. So don't need to be in a rush. You can relax, take your time, find the right path, and walk a lady. So I see. So if I walk here, then walk off. Then it, okay. So. Too many breakfast uh, bagels. Alright. Let's see here then. Goes up there. That also goes up there. That goes there. Okay.
So yeah, I could stand here forever. It's once I get off that it gets destroyed. There we go. Nice and clean. Left nothing behind. So Stumpy's off there on his own. I'll never see him again. All right, I'm going to call it quick there. You get the idea, idea what the game's about. It is a dollar. Very nice. Very nice one of these puzzle ones. And not only that, that's one. You have the Enchanted Forest, the Frozen Citadel, the uh, Mystical Pag... Pag... Pagador. And then you have the Mystery Pyramid there, the Tomb of Fear, and the Mayan Pyramid down there too. Ah, interesting. So, Mystery Castle. Whoa, fuck. Uh, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to curse there. That's my bad. I thought I ruined the recording. Instead, I just unplugged my own TV. Yeah, very interesting note. Here recently, I'm actually traveling with my own TV. You know, because I prefer my TV than the ho TV in hotel rooms. <laughs> no, just kidding. Here recently, I bought a Mac Mini. Um, and uh, they have HDMI out. So I just bought this nice little small 19-inch uh, monitor. To uh, monitor, not a monitor, a TV to travel with me. Because A, it's cheaper than monitors, and B, well, it was cheaper than monitors. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I actually found a nice little bag that fits my Mac Mini in this. So, that's my new uh, tomato, is what I'm calling it. If you get the reference A, it's a reference most otakus wouldn't get, even if they know the show I'm talking about. But, yeah, so I'm now I'm traveling with my little tomato rogue kit. Uh, so, like uh, Starbound, I recorded off of it, as well as um, Master Reboot. And here recently, I bought a couple other games I'll be playing soon, as well as I need to get back into Seven Days to Die, uh, uh, Yogg Ventures, and um, uh, Frontiers. Frontiers has been in a couple alpha, alpha stages. I need to get back to it. So anyways, I'm rambling. There's a quick look at Mystery Castle, a very fun little puzzler, cute style, and it's got a dwarf in it, laddie. Anyways, so there's a quick look at the game. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. <laughs>